I am so, so sorry, baby. Oh, have you been standing out here long? Well, Jay, I don't know. My watch is covered in cobwebs. <laughs> Look, I have a perfectly good excuse. Yeah. I was playing this great practical joke on this clown at work. Let me tell you what I did. I superimposed his head on Madonna's naked body, and then I put it on everybody's screensaver. That is why you were late for our date? Well, yeah, his head is a whole lot bigger than hers. It took a while to line up the neck. Uh -huh. See, now, if you had been on time, it could have been my head on top of your naked body. Oh, yes, that, that is much better, much better, much better. But mine was funnier. <laughs> Jay, you are always late. You're no, still I... playing practical jokes, and you've got a bowl of sweat socks on the table? <laughs> you need to grow up. You are absolutely right. And by this time tomorrow, that bowl of sweat socks will be a bowl of dress socks. Uh, Jay, we need to talk about the baby. Oh. Talk about late. Huh, trick-or-treaters in May. Let me deal with this, okay? We need to talk. Uh-uh. We broke up nine months ago. The statute of limitations on We Need to Talk is up. Look, look, Malcolm has got to stay with you. Now, my building has a new owner, and he won't let me keep him. No way, no way. You wanted him, not me. Okay, you don't want him anymore? You give him up. <laughs> Talk about the baby like that. Oh. I, mean, I had no choice, Jay. Malcolm cries all night long unless I let him sleep with me. I figure he got that trait from you. <laughs> If you're tired of hearing him cry, just stick him in the backyard overnight. He'll learn, especially if it snows. Jay, I don't have anywhere else to go. Now, I was hoping that you might feel some sense of responsibility here. After all, you're the one who gave him to me. Look, 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 look. You get that little monster out of here. I'm in the middle of a date. No, you are not. Not anymore. What kind of father are you? Father? And you, my God, will you give the baby a bath? He smells like a wet dog. <laughs> What is with you? Gordon, there's something I need to tell you. I'm late. Sweetie, that's the beauty of the videotape. We could start it whenever we want to. No. Honey, I mean, I'm late. Late? You are? Honey, we're pregnant? Oh, that is fantastic. Come here, come here. Oh, oh my God. I can feel him kicking. That's me. Oh. What? What? I, uh, honey, don't you want a baby? Not now. Gordon, I just got that promotion. Besides, I'm not exactly thrilled at the idea of carrying around an extra 30 pounds. Oh, you get used to it. <laughs> Come on, now, now, now. We, we could spend lots of time together. Look, we could go to buffets and, and we could share clothing. Check this out. Melissa just dumped this dog on me and then took off like... Puff Daddy leaving a nightclub. Well, uh, we're, we're about to have a little visitor, too. Ow! You're not gonna keep him, are you, Jay? You know, caring for a little one is a big responsibility. Oh. Well, maybe Jay wants to keep him. Maybe Jay feels the obligation to all the generations of his family, his parents, and my nana. Okay, are we still talking about the dog? Hey! That's my pastrami. <laughs> Face it, Jay. You're just not mature enough for this kind of responsibility. Why does everybody keep saying that to me? I am incredibly responsible. Right. 
Um. We got my dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's my spot, girl. Oh, yes. Oh, get the big toe, baby. Get the big toe. <laughs> Malcolm! <laughs> Look, Pooch. For the short time you're under my roof, you will live by these rules. No kissing, no licking, no drooling, no barking. Got it? Basically, I'm saying, don't be a dog. <laughs> Shoot, I'm late. Oh, no, you ate my sales report, Malcolm. You're lucky I have this backed up on floppy. Not my disc. You are two seconds away from being turned into a dust mop. Mr. Fraser. You're late. And I don't see that sales report. I have a very good excuse. A dog ate it. Since when do you have a dog? Since two days ago, and the darn thing's been driving me up the wall. Good. I could use the help. That was... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Jay, whoa. I love that new screensaver. <laughs> nice knockers, Rodney. <laughs> Guys, check out my new invention. Ooh. Oh, oh, are these uh, the oven mitts for the virtual cooking game I suggested? Close. It's for our new boxing game. Oh, yeah, this is hot. This is hot. I'm feeling this. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, my. Down goes Frasier. Down goes Frasier. Ooh, it's so violent. Mm. I think I like it. This game needs a name, so why don't you guys play around with it and uh, see what you can come up with? Cool. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Here come the pain! Box like alfalfa. Ow! What? I didn't even hit you yet. I know. These goggles pinch. Okay. Here, Malcolm. Look what Daddy brought to you. A doggy bag from the Korean restaurant. Oh, oh relax, relax, relax. I'm sure it's just a vicious rumor. Okay, so Malcolm really is a dog. I just thought he was an ugly baby. <laughs> well, he's my baby. That's what he is. Come here, boy. Come here, yes. If you don't behave tonight, you're gonna be pulling a sled in Alaska. <laughs> and remember, if I say roll over and wag your tail, I might not be talking to you. <laughs> so, you were on time for our date. You remembered your wallet. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. And you're watching this little dog. I love the new Responsible Jay. This is great because the new Responsible Jay kisses so much better than the old Jay. <laughs> hey, Malcolm. <laughs> Hate to break this to you, little buddy, but man's best friend is actually woman. <laughs> now, where were we? Hey, sorry to bother you. But we need to know if I'm pregnant. And you have to ask Jay? You guys are having a baby? Yes. No. Look, we can't read this test. Plus means pregnant and minus means not pregnant. So is that a plus or a minus? Yeah. <laughs> it, it kind of looked like a division sign to me. Kids, <laughs> twins. <laughs> Wait, so plus means pregnant. Oh, my God, I have to call Roy. Oh, and you were calling me irresponsible. Jay, I think your dog might be dead. Oh, man. Oh, my God, wait. He ate that pregnancy test. Oh, great. Now we'll never know. How the heck did this happen? You left it on the table. All right, look, I'm, I'm going to call a vet or 911 or something. Look, Gordon, start giving him mouth to snout. <laughs> My dog just ate a pregnancy test. I don't know, maybe he was hungry. Jay, I ask them if they have a tranquilizer. What, is Malcolm freaking out? No, I am. I was completely traumatized by old Yeller, and I don't want to see you put Malcolm down with the shotgun. Whoa, 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 Doc. 
you want me to take his temperature where? I didn't know this dog. <laughs> All right, Gordon, um, I need you to apply the Vaseline, and Sherry, you, you stick in the thermometer. Right. What the hell are you gonna do? A distract him. I don't think so. Come on. Yeah, uh, I shouldn't be doing anything strenuous in my condition. Oh, right. Wait. Hey, do me a favor. Call me when Malcolm passes the stick and let us know if it's still positive. Love you. Gordon, don't you run out on me. Gordon? Okay, you guys can forget about me babysitting. I know you're not gonna like this much, little buddy, but better for me than some Rottweiler at the pound. <laughs> There you go. I'm sorry I didn't take better care of you, Malcolm. Please get better. Look, if not for me, hey, do it for, for Mr. Squeaky. <laughs> oh, Malcolm. You're okay. Hey, there's my good boy. Daddy was worried about you. Yes, he was. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. Oh, shoot, I'm late for work. <laughs> Good boy. Thank you. But it's casual Friday. We gotta go. <laughs> you're not fooling anybody. I know you're okay. Okay, you can come with me. Come on. But no humping the secretary's legs. People talk. You have mail. <laughs> Malcolm, it's not a real mailman. Oh, shoot. Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I have to hide you. I have to hide you. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Don't bite it, don't bite it. Fraser, we have to talk about what is. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, that's my, that's my breakfast barking. I mean, uh, backing up on me. Okay, why is the filing cabinet barking? Because it's Logan's new invention. That's what it is. Yeah, see, it files your papers and then it protects them from intruders. But don't get too close. I'm warning you. Don't get too close. Okay, all right, all right. See, see, I told you, I told you. Good, Patrick. Good. There you go. I'm beginning to think that you have a dog in that cabinet. Beginning? Aha! Uh -huh. uh, Jay, as you know, Celeron has a very strict no pets policy. You have got to remove this beast immediately. I can't. He has to be closely watched for the next 24 hours. He swallowed a pregnancy test. Yes, well, uh, I don't think we should break the rules just to accommodate your tawdry lifestyle. <laughs> Jay, I'm talking to you. Hello? Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Do your ears not work? Hello? 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 Hear this, Rodney. Sick of Malcolm. <laughs> Jay, I'm talking to you. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I've... I will not have that dog lick me with his bacteria-laden tongue. Oh, Malcolm, don't lick Rodney. You don't know where he's been. Jay, come on, please. Look, we've got a meeting about the boxing game with Logan today. So can we work now? Or is Cujo here due back on the set of When Good Pets Go Bad? Don't worry about Malcolm. Now, what names do you have so far? Okay. What do you think about this? Go, pugilist, go. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Hi, honey. Hey. Our son is going to be the first Hamill to work at Soldier Field, either playing for the Bears or selling beer. <laughs> but either way, I'll be proud. <laughs> You're not pregnant, are you? No. Hey, it's, it's, it's okay. I'm sorry, honey. No, 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 it's, it's okay. It's sort of a relief. 
I mean, now we don't have to worry about who gives up their job. Yeah, or buying a house with a big mortgage. Or <laughs> having that talk about the birds and the bees. <laughs> and quite frankly, I'm still a little confused about that one myself. Well, you knew enough to get me almost pregnant. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I guess I could uh, take this back. You know what? Let's keep it. We might need it someday. Now, we're gonna put Rodney's head on Lassie's body. <laughs> you like that, don't you? You know, you and I make a great team, Malcolm. Oh, baby! Hey, hey. Oh, Mommy missed you. Yes, she did. Well, what are you doing here, Melissa? Oh, damn, I'm sorry to bother you at work, but this couldn't wait. I found a place that allows pets, so I can take Malcolm off your hands now. Oh, no, 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 Malcolm's mine. You gave him to me. <laughs> to take care of while I got my little situation together. But everything's fine, and I can take him back. Thank you. Okay. So, maybe he doesn't want to go back. <laughs> Jay, you didn't even want him. Yeah, but I want him now. He's happy here. Oh, really? Is that what he told you? Now you speak dog? <laughs> Not fluently, but enough to get by. <laughs> you know what? I just come up with the perfect way to decide who gets Malcolm. Oh, oh, no, buddy. You may have gotten me naked with that stupid card game, but I will not be fooled twice. <laughs> no. I was merely going to suggest that we let Malcolm decide. We'll both stand at opposite sides of the room and call him. Whoever he goes to, that's who gets custody. All right, let's do it. All right, little buddy. Here we go. Got a big decision to make, little buddy. Big decision. Here we go. All right. All right, Malcolm. Come here, boy. Come here, Malcolm. Come here, boy. Come here, come here, boy. Come here, my mommy will give you lots of doggy treats. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Malcolm. She's lying. I'll sign you for the stake of the month club. Come here, baby. Come here. No, come, come here, come, come here, come here, Malcolm. Malcolm, you want me. You know you want me, Malcolm. You know you... This is ridiculous. <laughs> Look, we basically need to decide what's best for Malcolm. Which is to live with me, Jay. I mean, I'm the one who raised him from a puppy, and I'm the one who's moving to a place with a backyard. You have a backyard now? A nice big one with lots of trees. Yeah, well, I have a pine tree air freshener in my bathroom. And my new job is going to allow me to stay home three days a week so we won't be lonely. Oh, but it, And it... next door is an adorable little French poodle who's single and looking. What, are you an idiot? Go, go, go. Oh, Malcolm. Jay. I can't believe you're doing this. You know, you've actually grown up a lot since we stopped dating. Taking a dog's temperature ages you. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Goodbye, Malcolm. You remember, when you meet this cute girl dog, it's not polite to sniff on the first date. Okay? Bye, Jay. Bye, right, Melissa. Well, if it isn't Dr. Doolittle, shouldn't you be out talking to the animals? I'm talking to a weasel right now. <laughs> oh, Logan, uh, I, I told Jay that he had to have that beast removed from the building immediately. You don't have to bother, okay? I just gave him back. Why? Oh, because he's irresponsible? No, because I decided to do what was best for Malcolm. I'm really gonna miss that talk. Boo-hoo. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. It reminds me of when Lucky died. Oh, well... What kind of dog was Lucky? He was an Australian tree frog. <laughs> Best friend I ever had. Damn koalas. Oh, Heard nothing but bad things about those koalas. <laughs> okay. Ah, with the hugging. If you ever had a pet, maybe you'd understand. <laughs> uh, I, I had a pet. A uh, pet rock. <laughs> and, um, uh, and one time it, it fell off the shelf and it got chipped. And, oh, then I had a Chia pet once that refused to sprout. Is it
Is it done yet? Another second, another second. Right. I can't believe the computer can show us what our kids will look like. Yeah. Oh, it's easy. I scan in both of your photographs and input your high 10 DNA profiles. Now all I need is your weight. 105. <laughs> 145. And, and a half. <laughs> we'll call it an even deuce. Thank you. <laughs> You are the proud parents of this. Oh! Whoa, 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 relax, relax. I accidentally showed you the offspring of Rodney and a donkey. Oh, thank God. I can never afford those braces. All right, here we go. Say hello to your new baby. Oh, she's beautiful. 